collaboration seems to have started a lot more in secondary, edu secondary education and it's filtering, that, it's filtering through now to higher education. Lots of these things do, all the technology um, that we're bringing to higher education started in secondary education and the students come, th come through and they think, well, I've, got, I've had better than this in school, so we, we're, trying, we're playing catch up in lots of ways. But, but, but what's, what's specifically happening with, with, with collaboration is, is that, is that um, students no longer want to sit and have that didactic sort of talking at sort of um, presentation that any, any, anymore. They find it a lot, they want to, be more, they want to get more involved in, in the subject and, and, and more involved in things. And, and um, what's happening is that from a, from a space point of view, we're changing the way that, that, that we look at space completely. So our um, lecture theatres, 350 seat lecture theatres, are, are, are getting less and less and we're getting more small spaces, smaller groups, and it's more concentrated around an activity or, or students learning themselves. So, you, so they're given a topic and they go off and, 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 and they do all the research themselves and do all the learning themselves. And what we're doing is providing the spaces for them to do that in. I think it's a better way of learning. I think I think if, if it had been around in my day, I would have, I would have learned a lot more than I, than I have now. I think I think it's it's much more intuitive to um, for lots of people to, to go out there and experience things rather than rather than rather than absorb information. Um, I think sit, sitting in front of a of a, a PowerPoint presentation for 50, 55 minutes and making notes on that um, is is quite daunting to lots of students. I mean I mean it suits some people. But I think in the majority of people, they would, they would want to be more, more proactive um, in, in, in the learning process. They're given tasks to do, and I think, and I think they'll have to produce bibliographies and all, 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 all forms of, of, of stuff like that. So, so that at the end of the day, there's, there's a, there's a, there's, they'll see where the information has come from and, and, and what research they've done and how, and how they've researched it, yeah. So certainly for an institution like, like UCL, which is which has got a lot of a, a lot of um, old buildings, a lot of listed buildings, um, and we've managed over the years to, to transform them very slightly into teaching spaces, formal kind of didactic teaching spaces. Now, now we're thinking about opening all that space out, uh, and, and 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 having much more collaborative spaces where students, where it's not there's, there's not set everything's everything's movable. We need to be able to move things around, move tables around, have tables on wheels, have chairs on wheels, have, have m multiple screens around the room so students can, can form in little groups around it. And that's, I think, I think for, for us, from a technology point of view, that's, that's where it's going to be in sharing things, having software so that students can, can, can actually collaborate and then just share that around the group at a, at a collective session. Yeah what they're asking for is, 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 is to be more involved in, 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 the, in the learning process. They want to be more involved in that learning process.